there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. The World of Final Fantasy. Here on Pastiche of Skin, we have been playing through the chapters as as anybody else would. I don't know why. I was trying to think of a way to actually say that uniquely or interestingly. No, we're just playing the story mode of World of Final Fantasy. So come join us as we play Pokemons with the Final Fantasy characters and capture more creatures here in Chapter 8 of World of Final Fantasy. Yes. Now, I kind of probably should have timed that for the upload to be at the same time, but uh, finish off. But this will do. <laughs> Fade in from black. We'll cut it. We'll do it in post. Okay, let's see. Where am I meant to be going? So I need to get... At this point now, I just beat up the thane of the city. And I need to... Oh, Alright, I can just open it and be the side down. Occult fan issue 2? Occult fan. I like occult fan. Occult fan, I remember from Final Fantasy 8, was actually how you found uh, Mu... Uh, not Mu. Uh, Nu and uh, Doom Train. Doom Train! Oh, I want to see. Where is it? Cult fan. Today we'll be looking at the so called treasure ship whose phantom mic appearances have been causing battle. The poor done is broken. A cult fan has obtained exclusive info, revealing the ship is decked out in jewels, and speaking of decks, this galleon's gangways are said to be overflowing with treasure. Well, there was only one way to find out if this fairy tale was full of fairy tale, and so we shoved off in search of the truth. But here was a funny thing. A local fisherman claimed not one had even ever seen the ship out on the water. Then where was it seen? We asked incisively. Well, here's the scoop. Whenever the treasure ship needs repairs or improvements, it docks at a dungeon-like harbor. Everyone who has seen it has reported hearing chimes. Some have tried forcing an encounter by ringing a series of bells, but to this, the ship does not respond. After thanking the fisherman for his revelatory contribution, we decided to get our ponchos in a row. What had we learned? First, there was a clear connection between the chimes and the ship's appearance. But random bell ringing wasn't cutting it. And speaking of cutting, that was when my traveling companion Wedge cut in. Maybe you have to ring them in the right order. Greek goblins, what if he was right? That would explain why the ship hadn't come. No one knew the right order. If the person Play chiming the ship home lives somewhere in Saronia, then it is possible the port town is hiding some kind of vital clue. We resumed our investigation with new vigor. Reporting by Briggs. Briggs? Biggs. So, we have identified our Biggs and Wedge. So, I was one, that's something I was going to be curious about this with it being the worlds of Final Fantasy. Were they going to do, like, every town you went into there just happened to be a Biggs and a Wedge because of the fact that there's a Biggs and Wedge in every Final Fantasy game but no this is where we have them they're actually doing a story about uh, finding what is it called uh, a phantom like appearance of a ship so I'm assuming it's kind of like Doom Train so I like the idea of it uh, they obviously are uh, investigators of the paranormal and they're doing the whole Sherlock Holmes and um, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson kind of thing where they're investigation so look forward to more writing from those guys um, oh, all the cars and tickets. So, yeah. Um, where are we on to next? Yes, we need to go to the harbor. Because we need a boat. And ironically enough, we just read about a boat. So maybe it's the same boat that we need. <gasps> That'd be awesome. Okay, I can't fit in any of these. So I, th I thought I was going to be able to jump across rooftops. But no, even with my crappy little jump, I can't do anything. So let's jump in here. Back to Saronia Harbor and see you know, what we can see. Chapter 8 Buccaneer Blues. So let's see. Refia said to borrow a boat at the docks yeah, and so it's time to the docks. Well, then, why don't we try asking around town and see if anyone's running them out? See. Um, you might not want to do that, girl, because they might actually walk up to you and say, uh, can I motorboat you? Oh, that's You're heading for the low seas? That's do not be weirded out by what I just said. These characters boat. appear to said to be in their 20s. Just kingdom hearted up. Hey, did you hear? There's a real pirate Ooh. ship in the harbor. It's Pirates. so cool. Yo, ho, yo, ho, the pirate's life for me. Run, dun, 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 dun. 
What's that? You want me to lend you my boat? But if I did that, I wouldn't be able to go fishing. Oh, yes, fishing. that's true. How about you get out of my way so I can just go to the harbor and see if anybody else has a boat? <sighs> At this rate, we might as well swim to yeah, the It's a possibility. Seas. Well, you can't really blame them. They probably need every boat they've got to make ends meet. Wait, hold your chocobos. Didn't somebody mention a pirate ship was Yo. parked at the pier? Yeah, something like that. We tell Why? them we have What's your point? <laughs> I've got an idea. What if we beat up all the pirates and then Commodore ah, their Grand ship? Grand Commodore. What? But you can only There's Commodore no if you have way two it'll ships. be that easy. Well, we don't have to go in with mirages blazing. We might just be able to sneak off with it. They're pirates, right? Who's gonna file a complaint? I guess. It's definitely risky, but we'll if we don't no get our butts in here, here. Refia's not uncle, or that freak in the creepy golden mask might come along and really rain mm, on our yeah, free. Yeah, the creepy guy in the Lesser creepy mask, I'm actually is. perturbed by myself. Docs, I, I'm starting to get the, interested in these heralds, I want to know more about them. But obviously they're kind of like a peripheral, well, they're not peripheral to story, they're obviously main bodies, but they're kind of like peripheral to what we're being told now. Making sure there were no crits there. I was like staring into the middle distance of the actual level. It's a dog. What were you expecting? Yeah, and it looks like mirages oh, are roaming around too. These docks need to get docked a few points. Let's get some mirages Let's while we're down here set. in the dock. Oh! Yeah, this might actually be useful. Yeah, we're going to travel back to Ninewood Hills. Yes, I would. I must have messed it up the first time. To save because we saved at the top of this chapter, we haven't done anything yet. So let's do a little bit of shopping. I'm just gonna go in and grab some of the stats affecting items because I've noticed that there is a number of um, it's a, there's a number of it's a, it's mirages. I'm trying to, I almost said Pokemon, <laughs> it's like, that's the reason so, I had to physically stop going? myself from saying it. Um, the there's a few mirages that actually Mart. require stats effects that I just can't perform until I actually get some of these. Oh! Useful. It's kind of useful. I actually have seeds for the mirage board now as well. And I need that to catch a Jockable. So, we'll take two of those. We'll take uh, one of those. 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 One of those, and we'll worry about the rest of this stuff at some other time. And take two of those, and we should be okay. Cool. Excellent. So I just wanted one of each of them just to have them in my stack. If I happen to find Thank one, I'm going like, alright, I'll take a risk and see if I can get this one. Uh, they're not prohibitively expensive, but this is the fact that they're like four or five hundred to pop, and I don't really have any other things to spend on money on this at the moment, so why not? Hey, Serafi. Hey, Tama. Um, I could go to the girls' tea room and do a side plot. I could go and do the Coliseum now, but we're here to play through the story as fast as we can. Well, the only reason why I'll go back is if I get myself absolutely whomped by um, a bad guy. So let's see. I'm not going to do the whole min-max trying to figure myself out way too early in this game because I could spend hours just sitting in trying to figure out how I'm going to level them up as fast as I can and where I could do a lot. Wait, wait, what? I need to do this. Where am I going? God oh, damn it. You can't immediately travel. You have to go back to Ninewood to go back to somewhere else. I must accidentally open the first dungeon. There we go. Saronia Docks. Huh. <sighs>
All for adventure. Nah, we can use the sizzle what have we got? to actually light a cannon. A cannon? What's it doing here? Uh huh. Mm. Don't, uh -huh. Uh, yeah, I knew he was going to get into it. <laughs> nice. It's a perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He's gonna launch the happened? goddamn cannon. Naturally, this must be how the locals get around. Uh huh. Naturally. What? That's terrifying. Where did you come from? Oh. Uh -huh. Ow. Let me do that. Oh! I should have checked the bloody... Oh, one of the things I was actually meant to do there was actually check to see what his uh, elemental things were. I went out a bit too far too quickly. Now we're just going to experiment with what one of everyone's I can cast and see if we actually do one that does enough damage. Ow! Ball sack. I don't like the fact he's casting death here. Oh, mimic. Oh, mimic. I could do with having a mimic. First try! Victory! I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. <laughs> yeah. I see. I, I, I obviously like overreacted a little bit there, but yeah. I felt good. A mirage disguised as a treasure chest to surprise unwary treasure hunters. There's no escaping one in battle. Per thing has developed serious identity issues, but hey, that's the job. Also, let's make it official. This mimic has no relation to that other famous mimic in our game lineup. To that other famous mimic? Who's the other famous mimic? I'm trying to figure out what it means by mimic. Because always, like, I always imagine mimics as being the creatures that are hiding inside treasure chests. So, like they're they hide themselves in other treasure chests. Huh. What is his abilities anyway? Whoa! Mm. So he can, he's got instant death and protect. He has counter. That's actually the, he's actually a good stat boost one. Like he's a good one to actually have, like generally have it for your character to defend. So yeah, you're gonna stick around for a wee bit. Well, what do I name him? Um. Chesty LaRue. Oh. Do you think I can get away with Chesty LaRue without the E? I mean, you can't rue things, but he could rue. Yeah, Chesty LaRue. Goggle-headed motherfucker. All right, take you with me. Who am I dropping so I can carry you along with me? Are we dropping a gangster? Iganook? B. Hebeth. Field Evo? Or Snow Jerk? Oh. Iganook. Sorry, guys. You may be dragons, but you're not that interesting of dragons. That's you told. So, we continue on our quest to find a boat. If we could find Bodie McBoatface, if he actually happens to be in this, that'd be fantastic. Oh, chest. 
Oh, I honestly thought I was going to have to do the slidey thing there again. A water seed! Nice. The boot right there! <laughs> Obviously not exactly the kind of boot we want to take a long transatlantic journey on. I won't hold back! Ah, oh, there's a shark bastards! Okay. So, um, what I need to do is knock your ass to the ground first, so you can defend for the moment. You can go here, and you go and knock him right over. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, whoa! Okay, because she's actually got a lot of uh, fire on her. Um, I'm just gonna punch you guys. God damn it. Uh. It's not gonna do very much effect. Whoa! They're weak to it? Okay, surprising. Yeah, not much I can do, so looks like you're just gonna die this time. If I spot them again, I'll be more prepared. Alright! Victory! <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping from level 1 to 4 in that first one. I, like, I'm going to see that happen in probably a fair bit with ones I catch later on and then go and grind them up. They'll just like jump from level 1 to 5 in like a single battle and then 5 to 10, etc, etc. Ah. So there's nothing there except for a water seat. Let's get our butts transported across here. Boom! <laughs> oh, right. Weight of 5 or greater, water resistance 50 or greater. Okay. So, water resistance. Um, water, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. So, let's go to the bottom and see if we can get uh, somebody that actually. Uh, oh, he's weakness. Okay. So, that's not going to help. There's no way I can do this, actually. Behemoth's 25. So is he. And base 5. Behemoth! And nobody in my small group. Oh, well, there we go. Tama. Yeah, yeah. Then we're good and grand. We got plenty. Um, yeah, sure. Put them on top of each other. And activate. What? Oh, right, that's actually the 25 from the previous one. Yeah, so I can't do anything with that switch yet. I just kind of have to wander around here now until I find a Pokemon that'll actually do the job. That's really annoying. Always gonna be these two. Um, yeah. I'm going to defend you. you guys are... If I knock him out, that'll be a good sign. I'm doing this just to build up uh, AP, obviously. Alright, so now I can actually do some attacking. So, very high chance of toppling. Hit him. And abilities. And channel element, fire, and see if I can knock him down. See how Are you serious? There we go. So, um, obviously the mini flan. I'm trying to see if I can find one that has the right water resistance. So the flan doesn't. Um, that's a problem. Can I use this? I, no, I can't. 
So I have to actually use up one of my potion items to kill these bloody idiots. Um, you do that one. So the thing is, I have to use Libra on them, but I'm obviously going to. Whoa. There we go. So it's actually him that I have to catch. That's what it is. Use fire attacks to create a prison opportunity. So, yeah. I am going to attack the mini plant so they don't have a chance to restack. I don't really care. Oh, there we go. Done, got him. I oh, actually okay, like, nice little bonus at the side there. I thought I was just going to kill him. And you get items, potion, healing, you get fully healed. And then I need to use a weak fire spell on you. And for the opportunity. Um, bam, here we go. <coughs> well, that was easy though. No trouble at all. Oh, hey. <coughs> So let's see what we got. What's his name? Sharkwal? Sharkwal! Sharkwal and George, prime fighters of the sea. Sharkwal and George will solve any mystery. Most of you guys are probably way too young to remember that TV show. You should look it up. Sharky and George was awesome. Great show. I think it was French animation with uh, American dub. An aquatic mirage with a short temper that regularly sees attack swimmers plans to one day star in his own movie, Chomper 2, The Shark Wall. There is no part one. So what has he got? Water spot, water, strength, strength, attack, crazy, critical, dry ride. He's just a big dude. Is he a, he's a medium? He's not even large. So, angry twister, water up, beach blast, crusher. Um... What we call him, Shark? Well, call him. Sh His name is George. I'm George. Hey, I'm George. Mildly terrifying, George. Uh, so he's the one that I need to hold on to. So that's the annoying thing. Um, it means I'm going to have to drop somebody, and I am obviously not going to drop my. Yeah. So uh, saying goodbye to Mr. Gangsta. He's a rock hard gangster. Yo, 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 yo. West Side. So funny. And what is this dude? The elemental resistances of the Mini Flat. A wobbly little pudding creature with high capacity for physical pain. Cover its face with a napkin, toss a little caramel on it, and you have yourself an appetizing treat. The actual flavor, however, is bullshit. We got water, sticky goo, balance, <clears throat> defense, magic, magic defense, agility, gelatinous body. Look at my body, my gelatinous body. I like the dance with me kind of skill that's actually there in the leveled up version, but um, yeah, I don't think we need to have a flan in the party. But we do need to name him. So what shall we call our mini flan friend? Flambeige? Icky? Bullshit. Poopy face. Poopy face. That's what we're going for. He does look like a little tiny poop. Poopy face. They don't lie, poopy? Face. <laughs> uh, oh! Deleting all the letters I didn't want to delete. Poo face. They don't like poo either! Uh, fecal. Matter. Fecal mat! Fecal mat! Hang it on with that. Disgusting little blob. Go stay with Salafree. Hi. 
Thanks for sending me shit in the mail. I just have another reason to kill all of you. If you didn't follow the joke from previously, Seraphy is a psychopath. Okay, so the switch is not working. Well, it will be working as soon as I put Sharky and George. There we go. One. And then we just need to weigh him up a wee bit uh, with um, Chuckaboo. Hey, they cute. Make a wonderful couple. Oh shit! <laughs> we actually literally raised the water levels of the area? That's terrifying! Uh, so we take this back. Don't leave Tama behind! Okay, so this actually changes the route that we're taking. Um, makes sense. Obviously, a town that is rich in water level controls and dam systems are definitely going to be using a system like this to move their boats around. I mean, it makes sense. Essentially, imagine it's like a canal system, but just with like water level controls. Um, we obviously do it in real life, but they also do it in a magical way. Oh, these houses, just, they don't look like they go. Oh, there's a boat. Uh, so I'm going to take a wee look at the map here and see which one I'm meant to get onto. Um, by the way, this doesn't look promising. But I'm going to go down here and take a look at the path to see if there's actually a box down here. Ooh, there is! And Tom finds on! Ooh! I have no idea what I find because it immediately started a fight before I got a chance to read. Here we go! Oh, the flat! Yeah, we got this! Doom. Well, it's this. The plan is effectively impossible to punch. But whenever you apply a little bit of fire to it... I wonder how... Can, I wonder how much damage. Yeah, fire. Just set that plan on fire. It is a flambeuge. Um, I believe I will try... Mighting? Close enough. And you will use fire. And you will just simply die. Hi, Flan! No problem. Looks like I yeah, no that wasn't yeah, so bad. You have nothing to conduct, but you will still take us out. So, huh, gold Naraglass, great. They sell for a couple hundred, even though I don't really use them that much. Uh, well, I haven't had to use them that much so far. So I have no idea what item it was I found. It probably was sawn completely unimportant, though. A key item by any chance? A swirl shell, what's that? Ah, Gimme Golem's gonna get in my way at some point. Excellent! Give me some bother. Let's get on the boat! Oh, there's a chest. Nice. Okay, that's gonna be useful whenever <clears throat> I take my next batch of mirror board or mirage board kind of like updates. Uh, um, what do we use? Uh, thunder might work. Yep. Fire's gonna be completely worthless against these guys. Eep. Uh, he's gonna have to actually use healing. See, it wasn't actually that effective, but it was still enough to do a butt-ton of damage to them. It's just going to shoot like, quite faster than I Shark wall. And down they go. Hey, look at that! Oh, my God! Look at Ah, fish scales. I'm sure they'll be useful for something. Yeah, get out of my way, buddy. Uh, 
So... Assuming I'm not going to run into a dead end here. Oh, there we go. I don't know how to there for a second that I might have jumped the gun before actually... Ooh. So we're getting dropped over right next to this thing. Let's take a look at this. Level 25? Nope! <laughs> we're just going to back away from that one. Death of the shards. I wanna see, can I just punch these guys out? Nah, I can't do it with one. I can do it with one character, but I can't do it with the other one. Because I imagine Tama's probably the most powerful uh, summon that I have, so I I, it's just enough for the attack. Eep. See, yeah, I like the fact that I'm actually remembering to place attacks um, to prepare my characters for the next time I'm going into battle. Because right. using your spells outside of combat is a bit of a pain because like, you can only use Cure once because you only have like four outside of um, battle AP or whatever AP you had left over from your previous um, fight. So yeah, it, it, it's kind of annoying that you can't do the, the spam heals out between fights, but I mean, that's, that's the nature of, uh, nature of the game to actually give itself some form of difficulty. Otherwise, you'd actually be able to do that and you'd never spend any money on items, which is, tends to be the case in a lot of... Ooh. I don't go back there yet. What's this? Flutter lets you fly to places you normally couldn't reach for place mark. Okay. Alright. You may be wondering why Tama of all mirages doesn't have this ability. Well, Tama may be able to float around free as a bird, but she refuses to carry land. After all, it's his job to carry her. Of course. Um, although, I do... Whoa, what's it? Oh, uh, okay. Yay! <laughs> they do not look happy about being carried over like that. Flying. Was it worth it for the two Phoenix Tines? This is a terrified dude. Did you just accidentally come up with a haiku? And who says boy oh boy? Huh. Um, I like the fact that it was a haiku, but I'm pissed off Alrighty, that I missed it actually because I decided Bring. to climb across before he actually like finished his line. Death for that one. Death for that one. And let's just fast forward and use auto fight. Yeah. I've been a little bit meticulous with actually playing this, but I can probably get it faster. It's just the fact that it's... Whenever these fights are going to keep popping up, I'm just going to have to just hammer through them as quickly as I can. <laughs> just to use something to make it a little bit... That's what's strain. Wow, that creeped me out. What are you... Give me, give me! Well, yes, I will give you your swirl shell. So that's the bell for summoning. I'm assuming there's actually a number of bells. That chime sounded like it could wake the dead. Nah. You don't mean a. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. More fish scales. I got so many fish scales. Oh yeah, she can use fire on this because of the flan. So fire. Oh, dead. No trouble at all. Oh, yeah. So their weaknesses are really interesting because they will overcompensate for the defenses of another, which is great. Um, it's just one of the things where you have to think about that whenever you're building your own stack together as well. Where do I go next? Um, straight ahead, right. This way. 
progress! Oh, it's gonna send me on a quest. What do you want? Are you serious? Uh, need to go hunting for another one then? Um, obviously, if I go left, it'll take me down around this way. If I go right, it'll take me up around this way. Right seems to be a shorter amount of rooms, so probably not the right way to go, but obviously going to run it first. Get whatever items are along the way. Let's oh, shit. Make this good. Um, for a start, um, thunder on Sharkwall. Cure on myself. And another. I'm trying to remember, are these guys immune to fire? Eh. No, they're not, but they're um, still strong enough. That it wasn't going to kill them in one hit. So, might as well be better off with just punching these guys. Down you go. Alright, good job. Continuing on, continuing on, as we continue on our search across the docks for a boat. <laughs> I'm really starting to get sick of Why are you not carrying the Warlock cold? Warmer? Maybe you should have thought of that before you came up with this plan. Yeah, Lon, nobody ever said anything about having to fight past all these stupid mirages. It's fault. Oh, well, I did read that cold weather helps keep you focused, so... Never, ever, whenever you're driving and tired, just open See, the window to keep yourself awake. Less Stop the car and take a goddamn oh, rest. Man, this is bad advice. The cold. This has been your room safety service no from time Think. Like the, present. the Northern Ireland Room Safety Service. You usually have the most terrifying fucking advertisements. Take in them, McFight. Yeah. Wonder. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! I am going to burn you to the grind. He didn't use death three times in a row. Nope, didn't work to actually put him to sleep, which is annoying. Yeah, down you go. Hey, look at that. that wasn't so bad. He's a pretty strong fool. But, um, it's worth it for the EXP, definitely. But, um, that was annoying. I did not want to lose. Ooh, lightning marble? Nice. So I'm assuming that does something interesting for the Mirage board, or it's... Oh, well, it's not. I was, I was thinking of it as actually being a Mirror Jewel. So, where are we going? Uh, we're obviously taking this one. <laughs> 50 or greater. Well, we know who we're going with. Easily solved. Let's control the weather once again. Whoa, was that? I meant to do that. I got a feeling I wasn't meant to do that. Yay, potions! Fluttery flyby! Sadly, these animations take far too long! See, I love these kind of like little, like, essentially the TA, the HM moves, cut, fly, fly, whatever else from Pokemon, but, um,. Obviously, this is getting a little bit here. Crit. Okay. Ah, 
All right, so whenever I raise that up, that meant I could come over here. Sweet. Okay, cool. Not annoyed. Absolutely fine with this. And there's my small trail. Jordan. I won't hold. Die, you sons of bitches. Everything. Healing, healing items are rare in this game, so we're going to do something else. We're going to use our health recovery spells. Singing a song as I go along, just fighting this game, man. Yeah. Looks like I'm I think they might have learned something from whenever they made Final Fantasy VII's kind of like um, like shortcuts with the click on the controller, so you actually since you had um, a trainer built into the game that allowed you to get like uh, infinite limits, levels, limit skills, and how to get um, infinite or like to speed up the game and whatever else. Is that intentional? Oh, son of a bitch. Where the hell do I get over there now? Okay. I believe I may have to use this route here. This isn't good. Ah! Right, well, it means the flan makes him weak to fire. Oh Christ, that wasn't enough. Ah. Burn! Rubs off. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Everything levels. Okay, so if I jump into this one, will it take me the right way? Nope! I need to reactivate that switch. That's what I need to do. Well, can I reactivate the switch? I've already... I, I thought it was only depressed. I didn't, oh, it does. It actually reactivates. That's right. We're good and fine. We're good. We're alright. I thought we were going to have the whole side... From lava of stuff that I need to sort out to get this back down again. No, add one. Come on! Alright, so that's almost done. Then we need to transport ourselves across. And then walk along the path, and we're past the gimme. Oh, I don't know. You know, the pace of the game has actually been quite linear and fast so far, uh, in regards of actually like the, the bits in between. But now these puzzle, now the puzzly bits are getting a little bit longer and overdrawn. I don't know if that's actually like does this count as grinding? Because I, I'm not purposefully fighting these guys over and over again. I'm just happening to fight these guys. Over and over again. What we can do, we can just punch them and fight them. There, let's go. See, I can't really forget about the fact that I'm being poisoned by these guys in each turn as well, a lot of times. Yeah, so now we need to heal. Definitely heal. The only thing is we don't get to heal the poison away, so we're still going to be low in health whenever we finish, but at least I'm actually going to be uh, a little bit closer to full than I actually would have been otherwise. Well, like that ought to do it. Yeah. Right. 
So at least we made it as far as this motherfucker. Oh, this must be it. Really? The pirate ship. Yeah, I don't think there's any debate about that. Let's be the sneaky. Can't be in the sneaky, but having this in the way. Gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme! Oh, no melon! <laughs> oh, no melon! Uh, have anybody else played any of the Dot Hack series? It's just uh, the creatures on it were hilarious. I, I love like every time you went to pick fruit in it or whatever, it was actually like it actually like had a tagline. But my personal favorite is the "Oh no melon!" because it actually said that every time you went to grab one of them. Well, isn't this great? I wonder what fight I'm going to have as soon as I get in here. So, like normally they don't do the whole save thing just beforehand unless you got a big battle. So obviously we're going to jump into the deck of the pirate ship, mess up horribly. Lan's going to say something wrong. He'll go yar and pretend to have a hook, and then we'll have a fight. Pirate ship of the dock sounds promising. Yes, it does. Nobody there too. I think we've got this one in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's Kubo! Moguls, Mughal pirate huh? ship. The pirates? Did they just call us pirates? Oh. Well, I'd say the pot knows a kettle when it sees it. And it's it. black. Kubo! Hang on. We're oh, out there numbered, Kubo! Now what, Kubo? Stop saying Kubo and fight, Kubo! Kubo! Huh? Get him, Kubo! Much the better. So, uh, Libra on one of these crew pirates. I'm sure I can. Yeah, no prison rules. So, what do we got? They've got a weakness to lightning and thunder. Awesome. Uh, no resistance to fire. So, probably thunder uh, is going to be the way to go. Please. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder hand! Go! Whoa! Whoa! There's a lot of them! There's a lot of water harmony just in that first round, but then after that they all seem to calm the fuck down. Which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, bam! Bam, and the Koopo's gone. Done and dusted. Get it. That wasn't even a threatening fight. It was just a massive numbers, and they took like half my health off me in the first turn. Chesty LaRue's up to level 10! Ooh, that was actually a nice amount of cash. And Phoenix Stones. Good catch, good catch. You got us, Koopo! I did, Koopo. Scurvy Koopo! For shame! I like the voice. Uh -huh. Jesus! Uh -huh. Hi, Virus. <laughs> Sildra. Uh, so we're gonna have to fuck it's, him up. It's Captain Ferris, Koopo. Hello. Hello. It's created oh, a threshold. Oh, right. That, that so this is the one that was actually built with threshold, was it? How kind of you gents to whip my crew into shape. <laughs> You're oh, welcome. Could you welcome. just possibly not kill us, but please? I thought we just beat them up. That's what she's saying, you doofus. <laughs> what are you, comedians? Eh, we try. Too bad. You know, open mic nights. You the brass um, to steal from kind of like uh, first timer you nights. Know you know, we we turn around a little bit. So like, long. A couple of shows. Just you know, like, just for a couple of years. We're now up full professionals. You know. <laughs> Punch it on its stick! Tama, it's time! Make yourself big! Huh? Yes, sir! You can do that? 
<laughs> Guess they're not. Uh, I should have known better everything. than to like, Are we going to even lock that now immediately? That'd be awesome. So, yeah, let's get this. Um, that didn't help. Uh, yeah, you're going to cure yourself because you're sitting with half health. Oh shit! Damn! Um... Yep. Done for. But they're, they're yes, they too are. strong. Uh, I have you now. <laughs> hide Refia all you want, but you can't play hide and seek with destiny. Fate has chosen uh, us. The Thane of Saronia. Here. Why is he here? Thundercat. Uh, Use he it. followed us here? Oh, hurt me more. Hurt me more. Oh, he just turned into a ball of black with eyes. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Uh, Doesn't this make his just want to kiss me? Divine design. His divine designs. Isn't fate great? Now that it's brought us together, anything, anything could happen. happen. I could be inside you. Just you could be inside me. Are we destined for Let's see bigger? what happens. Or could it be? Our cookies are merely meant to crumble. Now, giants from the hill. These questions are all yours and mine! Shut up! Guess what, asshole? Say hello to my little friend. I want to know what the symbology is that he actually put up because they never implied that in Final Fantasy VII that their magic was based on like a, a almost like a written science. But you do have him in his lab and in, in the lab reading a lot of the textbooks, so obviously he's a well aware of it. So I, I like the articulation of that, but I don't know if it's actually like particularly similar to what was actually part and parcel of the game, if you know what I mean. I just like I like listening to it for like the little bit afterwards, but um, that's the only reason why I held back when I shoot you in the next attack. I will banish this darkness once and for all. Do it, warrior of light. Finish him. I wonder if it's actually like because I won't, that's the thing I'm curious about. They do. Attack damage, but I'm wondering if it's like equally or dark or whatever else. So if it's actually, he might actually do more damage than several off in this one. Okay, nay, yes. Awesome. So, uh, right claw. Ha! Ah. Not very effective, chap. How would you eat this instead? Not gonna affect them. Yeah, I was gonna say I was wondering if it actually might put him to sleep. Oh, find another ship to spew <laughs> your bilge on. So she's just gonna turn around and just beat his ass right off the ship. This is how the dice have rolled. It's 
snake eyes for you, motherfucker. Wow. Hey, what? clowns. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Perhaps you'd care to explain. <laughs> All right, fine. I, I now understand the use of the Tamil. It said you like we didn't want to so, bother putting this cutscene, and we're just going to skip it. The <laughs> Federation replaced Thane Tucker with one of their soldiers. Actually, we're not too sure about that ourselves. But everything we've told you is true. Honest to the goodness. Well, believe me, I'd not put anything past those Federation dogs. But if they have monsters like that in power, hey, um, hmm? Captain Ferris, you wouldn't happen to know where they're headquartered? The Federation, I mean. Bahamut Citadel. No one knows a lick about that, lass. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Why? Was that your reason for trying to steal my ship? Some wild goose to go off chase? on some wild goose chase? Uh, uh, the whole uh. idea was launched. Just throw him under say. the boat. What? Me? Oh, I would never, ever. I mean, I don't even like ships. Not that there's anything wrong with your. Oh, please don't <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> Belay that, lad. Belay there, lad. Okay. You see. I might be able to help you gents on your way after all. If you are the giants from the hills, the ones the prophecy we are. mentions, then I recall the same prophecy mentioning where you're supposed to go. What well, ain't huh? that you mean more convenient? To it? Ahoy, Mog! You've read the prophecy, haven't you? <clears throat> Aye! I have, Kupo! The prophecy says quite clearly that the giants from the hills would collect four keys, open up a pathway to the crystal tower, brave its dangers, and mount the very well, I do plan to do some mounting. Four mm. keys, huh? Wait, the crystal tower? Hmm. Huh. So, Ma, I don't suppose you know where the four keys might I be. I have all three of them here. I'm afraid I know of only the first one, Koopo. It's one more than I do. Koopo, the first key is said to lie in a. Oh, twas the valley of hey. fire, Koopo. Where's that? I can think of one place: the fire valleys in Babel. Down to the south of the low seas. Then we're of course going to the low seas. <laughs> There's those low seas again. Where we're going in the first place. It all makes sense. It all comes together in a perfect. What unity. labor? All these twists and little turns. But fate must be allowed to run its and course. I must find where my other foot <laughs> went. <laughs> <laughs> New wares are available at the Chocolate Mart. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another chapter of Final Fantasy, World of Final Fantasy. Right, hang on. I, I, my ta I've put tap roots down for my ass there. I don't know why I was getting so unbelievably comfortable. So yeah, that was chapter uh, eight of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. The world of Final Fantasy. Yes, we're actually going to continue on in our long quest to essentially capture all of the Pokemons, save the world, find out who the fuck these people are from the actual, um, from the Federation. I, they're heralds of destruction. I'm assuming they're like the four horseborn of the, four, four horseborn of the apocalypse. Um, yes, they were born all of horses. They all actually have four legs and hooves. They hide them very well underneath their armor. I mean, it's quite impressive. That's the reason why that guy only has one leg. He chopped off three of them, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking rubbish here. Guys, if you want to actually continue on watching this series and enjoying the hell out of World of Final Fantasy with me in all of its weirdness and my own little uh, idyllic memories of what the Final Fantasy series was like, you can, of course, hit the subscribe button sitting right up here. Or if you want, you can actually head over on this side here and go and hit um, playlists of other stuff that we've worked on over here, over here on the channel. Or you can, of course, find the playlist for the rest of the episodes for this season. So, of course, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all again for another episode of World of Final Fantasy in just a very short while. So I'll see you very soon. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.